Hello everyone, my name is Sai Mukundan from the product management team here at Cohesity. And today I want to talk about Cohesity's integration with the cloud. So in another video, we talked about you know, two kinds of infrastructure that the cloud vendors provide. The compute, where, which are typically used for running the VMs, and then the storage infrastructure. We can have, you know, uh, Azure, AWS, or Google, broadly the three major public cloud vendors. And we looked at, from a storage perspective, there are two areas, cloud tier and cloud archive that we integrate with the cloud storage infrastructure. In this talk, I want to focus on how we can leverage the cloud from a compute standpoint as well. So the way we do that is through what we call Cohesity Cloud Edition. With Cohesity Cloud Edition, what you already know and use from the Cohesity data platform perspective in the on-premises world is now available and applicable in the cloud infrastructure as well. So the way we do that is we leverage the VM resources available in the cloud. And let's say for this purpose, we have four VMs that are running in the cloud. And these can now form a Cohesity cluster. And this cluster you know, has all the same platform features and capabilities that you already have seen in the on-premises world. So now how do we leverage this Cohesity Cloud Edition that is running, let's say, on, an, on Azure? So the way we do that is we already have a strong policy-based framework for taking backups that land onto the Cohesity platform. Extending these policies, we can now set replication between your on-premises cl Cohesity cluster and the Cloud Edition that is running in the cloud. And by, through this replication, the data that is backed up through policies that land on Cohesity are now replicated to the cluster that is running in the cloud. So what do you do once the data is on the cloud? Broadly speaking, there are two use cases uh, from uh, the cloud edition perspective that we see uh, customers have asked us for. One is the ab ability to do, say, DevOps, test dev environments, uh, and have them running in the cloud. And we'll talk about that. And the second aspect is the ability to use the cloud from a DR perspective for disaster recovery needs. So when we look at the first use case on DevOps, we said the data is backed up. It lands on the on-premises Cohesity, then gets over to the Cohesity Cloud Edition. And now, with the cloning capabilities that our platform has, we can then spin up the VM or VMs of choice uh, to now run in the cloud. So the VM, let's say the VM was, um, I'm just going to depict it as VM A, um, just to differentiate it from the VMs that we are, that is actually running the Cohesity cluster. So let's say VM A was backed up here. It was replicated uh, to the cloud edition, and then it can be spun up as a clone um, that is running in the cloud. Now this clone can be used to, say, apply some patches, test them, and then tear down the clone. So this is the first use case where we are talk to, talking about test dev, DevOps environments in the cloud. The second use case, customers are commonly you know, trying to consolidate their infrastructure, get rid of some of their on-premises infrastructure wherever applicable. And they're doing that primarily from a secondary data center standpoint, looking at cloud as a replacement for their disaster recovery needs. So this is the second use case. In a similar vein, the VM that is backed up lands on the Cohesity on-prem, gets replicated to the cluster that is running in the cloud, and now the VM can, or VMs, can now be spun up in the cloud for uh, disaster recovery. And then uh, that can actually run uh, while you fix your on-prem infrastructure and bring it up. So there you go. The first use case on test dev, and the second one around disaster recovery. Thank you very much.